Welcome to episode one of Film Star Foundation, where I research and break down the foundation look from a film or TV show. Today, we'll be breaking down the look worn by the beautiful Evan Rachel Wood in the hit TV series Westworld. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the series Westworld, Evan Rachel Wood plays a robot, or host as they call it, that looks like a human. Therefore, she can't have any of the imperfections, blemishes, lines, etc. that we mere mortals have. <laughs> now, the first time I saw her on the screen, I could not stop staring at her skin. She literally looks like a doll. She's so perfect. So, the big question, of course, is what foundation did makeup artist Rachel Hoke use to make her skin look so perfect? Well, that would be none other than the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Foundation for face and body, which I am using today in the shade 1N3 Creamy Vanilla. So that brings us to our first behind the scenes foundation fact. So this show was filmed in California and Utah. There was lots of dust, wind, dirt, and sun to contend with. So Emmy award-winning makeup artist, Rachel Hoke, who was Evan Rachel Wood's makeup artist, said it was quote, like a science experiment trying to get this foundation right. In fact, the first sunscreen that she used under her foundation oxidized really badly, and so they had to go back to the drawing board and figure out what they could wear underneath her foundation to protect her skin, but still make it look doll-like. Which leads us to fact number two. She did not use a primer underneath her foundation, which I found really interesting. I remembered reading in an article way back, so don't quote me, but she said something to the effect of, Adding primer would just be one more element that could possibly go wrong. So instead of primer, she would wear a moisturizer and then they would put on the IS Clinical Eclipse SPF 50 Plus sunscreen, which apparently laid really beautifully underneath the foundation and didn't cause it to oxidize. So now we are to foundation fact number three. In order to keep her skin looking so perfect, they would actually remove the makeup at lunch and put it back on again for the evening shoot. So you have to remember this is a very physical show. She's outside, she's running around, she's riding horses. They would leave her eye makeup intact, but they would use a French brand no rinse cleansing and softening milk to remove her foundation and then reapply before the evening shoot. So now that I've had a chance to try this out myself, I'm gonna give you my opinions on the foundation. If I'm being totally honest, before I tried this, I thought that I was going to hate it. So I went, stood in line at Estee Lauder, got myself a sample. The sales associate actually didn't even do a shade match, which I was totally fine with because honestly, I just wanted to go get some Chick-fil-A and go home. I thought it was going to have the consistency of something almost like a Pond's cold cream, you know, really rich and that it was gonna take a lot of effort to get it into my skin. But it's surprisingly light. It almost feels like a liquid, almost a little bit of a mousse hybrid. It covers everything. And as you saw a moment ago, I was also able to use it as a concealer. So I still have pictures left for you to look at of what this looks like in different types of light. But first, I just have to tell you that I am so excited about the next Film Star Foundation episode. Due to copyright laws, I can't use any music, but here's a hint. Oh, Edith. Did you get it? <laughs>